What's going on, everybody? My name is Season Welcome back to another video, and we're going to get started with Unit 3 for Human Geography, which is just an introduction to culture, which kind of gives you the impression that all of Unit 3 has to do with culture and the movement of culture uh, and all that fun stuff. So, this video is going to start with the basics on what culture is. Culture comprises the shared practices, technologies, attitudes, and behaviors transmitted by society. So, examples of culture include food, architecture, and toys, instruments, or just objects that the culture uses. Uh, this is a didgeridoo, which is part of Australian culture, sushi, which is part of Japanese culture, and a mosque, which is part of Islamic culture. Uh, and all three of these are actually part of the same category, which is known as material culture. So material culture comprises of physical uh, traits of a culture. If I can finish writing this. Now, this is one of the two branches of cultural traits. Uh, the other one is non-material culture, which is what we're about to get into. So, non-material culture includes fashion trends, taboos, which is items or ideas not allowed within a culture. And this is sometimes inappropriate to even discuss. So, here I have no beef because in India, uh, or the Hindu religion, Beef is a taboo to consume because of uh, cows being sacred. Uh, political and economic systems and institutions are part of non-material culture, as well as holidays and other traditions. So all four of these are part of non-material culture. Also, land use has to do with culture as well, because the land use in France, shown here in the image, is different from this part of land use in America. Uh, and this is all contributed to the cultural landscape, which is a part of land use in a trade. The next video is going to focus on cultural landscapes and what you can infer by them and how culture affects them. Uh, so yeah. And then next we're going to get into attitudes towards culture. And this is the last part of the video. So first is ethnocentrism, which is judgment of a culture by one's cultural standpoint. So I'm going to judge this picture of an American neighborhood by my own views, or I can try to be ethnocentric. So I could say the houses are too close together because maybe I think the houses are too close together. Uh, or the houses look so unique. I could think, oh my gosh, these houses look great. Uh, but in reality, maybe the people who are a part of this culture don't like them at all, but just go with it. Evaluation of a culture by their cultural standpoint and views is cultural relativism. So you're basically judging them by their own uh, standpoints. So you could say, why are their houses so close together? Uh, and they'll tell you that, and then you'll understand. Uh, or you could say, nice job keeping the lawn clean, or your houses look so well maintained. Uh, that's not really judging by your own cultural standpoints. You're kind of judging by theirs. Uh, just saying good for them. Like, good for them for not having sex before marriage or um, something else that's related to culture. Good for them. That's cultural relativism. And this is a pretty easy video, and that's the end of the video. Oh my gosh, we're done already? Uh, there's an FRQ, and you're probably like, ugh, no, I'm not going to do it in the next video. Please do the FRQ. It'll help you just increase your writing skills, and if you're left-handed, make your left hand a lot more dirty if you use pen. Uh, please subscribe, like the video. It really does help me out. Uh, there's more AP Human videos, so you can go check those out. Uh, there's some links in the description to suggestions. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Adios!